All right, let's talk. You want to avoid this happening to your filament and having spools that look like this? Well, let me tell you, you gotta keep your filament dry. So here at the Makerspace, we have a filament dryer, right? We have a nice, simple uh, temperature and uh, moisture meter installed into the door. If you notice, we have this tubing it actually goes all the way up across here, down there, along the floor, and it vents outside to remove the moisture by using a dehumidifier. All right, so I just reorganized this. We got our PETG all up here. We got our basic PLA stuff here, silk PLA. We got TPU, ABS, uh, some PVA, uh, a couple other random filaments of uh, different diameters that we got to see if we can scale it down somehow and then just some overflow black, white, and gray PLA down there. So, PLA does a really good job at kind of staving off moisture, especially here in New England and winter. It's pretty dry here, so we don't have to worry about really leaving the filaments out. So in this new setup, my CMYK kit, I can just leave out. We've had it out for a while and it's not gonna really be a huge issue. Uh, however, that being said, if you live in a more humid area, you're going to have to get some sort of dryer, maybe some sort of dry box storage, whether it's uh, plastic bags that you could vacuum seal, put some desiccate packets in that you save. You can uh, recharge those by drying them out. And then you can buy uh, refills of it and you can print little containers to keep your filament dry because you don't want to go through hydrolysis and end up with a filament spool like this. Now this is PLA that has gone through the process and it just breaks, right? You can even just like shake it and some stuff comes off. Uh, but that, that was left out for like six years. These spools here that were left out for like six years, the other ones in the cabinet, they're the same. Uh, and there's actually some that are in here that we're currently printing with in the printing grate. Uh, like I said, PLA is, you know, some people get a little over dramatic with it. Uh, but it can't hurt to keep them dry. Now, have you ever had any problems with keeping your filament dry and having it fail like this?